Hello Aries, welcome to your He Said, She Said spread. This is for the week beginning July 8th, 2018. Don't forget we've got our special going at the moment. It's $35 for a 20 minute reading with both Richard and I. And if you're interested, please email us gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Now, say hello, Richard. Hello. Aries. Aries. We have the uh, oracle cards here from Lay Vampire. You've pulled Resurrection, Reprise, Recovery, Comeback. And from the Energy Oracle, you have the card of Happy Family. Now, Resurrection speaks about change. A change that can be made, and quickly. It speaks about uh, moving through, uh, swiftly moving through a transition. And it also speaks about uh, that you may feel that in order to change, that you must pretend in some way. And it, it seems like there is a, a resurrection of something here. And, and it seems to do, it, it seems to have to do with a, a family. Yeah, and in, in family, we're kind of talking about something that uh, you shouldn't ignore the kinds of experiences that family can, can give you, or even close friends. Okay, so let's see where we go with this. Aries, let's get some energy for Aries. What are the energies for Aries, please? For Aries. The first card is going to signify the person that you're thinking about what they bring to the table, their flaws, how they feel about you, how you feel about them, the strengths of the relationship, the weaknesses of the relationship, the possibility of a healthy relationship crossed by any roadblock, and the potential outcome. So let's see what the energy is of the person that you're thinking about here, Aries. The Five of Cups. So there's sadness here, uh, uh, maybe after a loss. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so possibly after a loss, yeah. And maybe uh, too much uh, focus on um, what has been lost here. Yeah, not enough focus on, on the good things that could happen in the future. Now let's have a look and see what they bring to the table here for you, Aries. The Page of Wands in reverse, so it's a card of receiving uh, bad news. Yeah, and, it, um, and some immature, um, passionate energy. Yes, very much a lack of enthusiasm here. Um, someone who ha has lost their spark is what I'm picking up. Now let's have a look and see, it's, it also speaks about a lack of commitment as well. Let's let's have a look and see what the uh, the flaws are of your the person that you're thinking about here, Aries. And we have the card of temperance or equilibrium as a flaw. So it, it may be that there is a, a lot of conflict here, some some arguments between you both. It seems like there's a lack of balance. Yeah, lack of balance. Yeah. Maybe not being on. Oh, on the same page. The same page, yeah. Mm. Now let's have a look and see what your partner uh, thinks of you, Aries. The Four of Cups. So uh, it, uh, it looks like they're you're being you're offering something to this person, but they're not interested. Right. Uh, there's an energy here of uh, emotional withdrawal. Uh, it seems like this person is is being offered. Uh, love uh, an opportunity here but uh, it, it's it's very much a, an energy of a missed opportunity now let's have a look and see how you're viewing them Aries the ten of cups so you see them as the happy ever after as the as your family and we do have the the happy family card here yeah I don't know why I'm picking up this energy here with that um, four of cups as being has had something has having something to do with family. Okay, we'll see where this goes. Let's have a look and see what the strengths are. We have the King of Swords. So there is a, a Gemini around you as an air sign. A Gemini, a, uh, it could be an Aquarius or a Libran here, Aries. 
male or female because this is a, a general reading so it can be a, a male or female here. But it's a card of, of strength of character. Certainly someone who is... Uh, well, authoritative. But, yes. But in the, in the upright, authoritative in a good way, a, a leader. It's usually someone who has a position in authority, as uh, a doctor, a lawyer, this kind of energy, yes, with this so card. Someone who's somewhat powerful. <clears throat> now let's have a look and see what the weaknesses are between you both. We have the Ten of Pentacles. As a weakness here, it seems to suggest that the money problems are causing an issue between you both. Right. It could be that uh, there is an issue with a uh, sharing of, of resources here. It, it seems very much like, uh, it, it, I'm picking it up as an emotional problem due to financial issues. Now let's have a look and see what the potential is here for a healthy relationship. And we have the Queen of Cups and that is crossed by the Seven of Wands in reverse. Now the Queen of Cups is a, a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. It is someone who is very uh, compassionate, loving, caring someone who wants to have that in their lives they, they want to be uh, more caring around other people uh, with the seven of wands in reverse as a roadblock here it, it seems like there's an energy here of uh, surrender giving up giving up maybe giving up on being this caring Nurturing. nurturing type of, of I'm picking it up as a, a female but it can be be vice versa here let's have a look in the outcome <coughs> now we have the eight of swords so there's a feeling here of being trapped of not being able to move perhaps because of financial issues yeah but it's a uh, in in many ways I, I often see the eight of swords as being a prison of one's own making so, so this person could get out if they wanted to. Yes, uh, or they've caused their own problem. Right. And then they, and that they can possibly solve it. Right, let's get another card on that. Uh, and we have the Knight of Cups. All right, let's get another card. Okay. We also have the Knight of Wands. So we've got two Knights here. So there's movement, there's something coming in here. And with the Page of Swords in reverse, I get an energy here of, of someone, someone is making an offer, but it's being rebuffed. Um, but, oh no, maybe that offer's not on the up and up with the Page of Swords okay. in, being in reverse. You're seeing this as, as someone who may be coming in with some false information? Uh, yes, or a false offer. Or a false offer. Because we do have these two knights here. There may be, well, I'm picking this up as, as you being trapped Aries, but it could certainly be vice versa here. It could be the other way around, but I pick it up as, let, let, let's, let's clarify here because I feel with your partner here, there is a sense of loss around this person and very much a, a focus on the bad things here. I feel for them, there's a lack of motivation, a lack of energy around them. There's, they seem to be stuck here. So it could be them that is stuck in the grieving process here with that Eight of Swords. There's a lack of balance with this person. They're not, they're not interested in accepting offers they seem to be uh, I'm picking this up as uh, someone who is emotionally unavailable right um, but, but you you are hoping and very this hopeful person is hoping yeah that, is, that they will come through with the goods in the family department right because you I feel it's you Aries that wants this resurrection in this happy family but uh, it doesn't seem it seems like one one of you wants to give this up and, and you feel trapped and i feel like they 
there is something coming in here. I, I, I feel it's, it's communication, but it doesn't seem to be coming from a good place. Let, let's get in a, a romance angel because the, the outcome cards there are somewhat confusing because I feel that the cards are all about messages being received. No, I look upon it as being a, a, what is happening a message series? that is perhaps not on the up and up. And there's separation. So Aries, there seems to be something here. You're either already separated and you want to get back together here. You want this family to come back together or it could be that there may be, because it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon, that this may be coming up in the future for you, Aries. Um, and I feel it's because you're just not on the same page here. But be careful of any message that you might receive and be sure it is on the up and up. I think I feel that page of swords in reverse is a warning. So you think there's some harsh energy here and that someone may be coming in with an offer but they're not, they're not telling the truth. Right, and they may want the person back and they might be willing to say anything to get that person back. I, I like where you're going with that. I, th I think that's the case because I, I get the sense here that uh, this person is very detached from this relationship at the present time. So I'm going to wish you all the best with this Aries and I hope that things go well for you here because I feel it is you that wants this to come back together again here to get back on the same page so that you can get this uh, happy family situation because you, that's what you see them as. And uh, I will leave it there for you for now and I wish you much healing and happiness in the future. Don't forget we have the special on so if you would like a uh, personal he said she said reading please email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com and the cost for that is $35 for 20 minutes with both Richard and I. And also don't forget to check out my channel Gypsy Insights by Michelle and there you'll find my monthly readings which I do twice a month and those are very in-depth so if you haven't already please check those out see if they resonate with your situation and uh, also uh, like share and subscribe so i wish you all the best aries goodbye and good luck aries